the other the other side of that obviously is is, is we have a, an aging tri a lot of triathletes are older right and the one thing that breaks people down is the running so Jimmy how important is it to to become more efficient as a runner so that you you can run longer uh, you can run you continue to run but also run more efficiently so you don't have to train as much in the running portion especially as a triathlete well I think every runner whether they're a triathlete or a runner in general, is trying to get intensity right and learning how to measure that intensity and pace. What we found is just not a very effective tool for measuring intensity overall. And so, you know, with your own hilly courses or flat courses, things of that nature, or interval sessions can be very difficult to really measure what the load was. And a power meter suddenly, because you have all these movements, can tell you what, what the actual training stress was on you from a, from a session. And that data over time especially begins to see where, where you're, and if you track that with your paces and that you're uh, focused on and you begin to see, you really, you really begin to understand training stress and training response very clearly. And, and then retrospectively, at the end of a season, you can go back and say, we overcooked it here. This was too much training stress you know, here and this we got injured here or things like that. And, and I, I don't know a single runner that doesn't deal with some type of injury or, or issue. So the ability to measure intensity has greatly, greatly improved for runners with power meters. With the runners you work with, or triathletes you work with, do you do a lot of work with them as just during or having them run fresh and then run after a bike and notice and compare the difference between their, their form and their technique? Well, that's a great question, and quite honestly, the answer is we don't know yet. Now, this is still such new technology. There, you know, we can say on a on a bike, the pros should be the TSS for the bike should be around 280 to 300. We know that number. That's that's a pretty solid bike ride, and what we can expect. We don't have that in running, and especially it's not even about that because they're already they're so neurologically fatigued coming off the bike that we can't really expect them to be very efficient in their movement patterns and things. So. We don't have a number for that yet. Um, I think over time as we, I know, I think they're gonna have a number of athletes this Saturday racing with it. This will be the real first chance for us to start to see what do we notice? Who's breaking down that data and really learn learn what's going on. Uh, following up with that, might, so, oh, I'm sorry, Frank. Might, might I toss something in it? Sure, go ahead, Andrew. A uh, little background, I'm a cyclist, not so much a runner, but, uh, 27 years ago, I crashed in a criterium, fractured my hip, and it's uh, problematic for me if I run too much. More recently, though, I've been running on a treadmill every single day and haven't had any problems. Um, of course, treadmills have a reputation for being more forgiving uh, springier, but one of the things I've learned from using the, uh, the stride and calculating leg stiffness uh, and also ground impact forces is that I can actually quantify the difference between running on the treadmill versus running out on the road. And so, you know, not surprisingly, I don't hit the, I don't hit the, the bed of the treadmill quite as hard as I hit the ground when I run, etc. But I think this is the, the same sort of general information that you'll be able to see if you compared somebody training when fresh versus training off the bike. That the the stride device provides uh, a wealth of information about you know, precisely how you are running and how it is influenced by things such as not only the surface that I'm using as an example that I'm running upon here, but also fatigue, et cetera. So, um, you know, in short order, I mean, the, the, the hardware is there. I think in short order, uh, the knowledge will be there as well.